Welcome to day three of the Netball World Youth Cup in Habaroni in Botswana. We're about to start game five, the final game of this day, and it's Northern Ireland up against Samoa. We'll be bringing you the starting seven pretty soon. I'm joined in commentary with Alison Crowd, and we've witnessed some fine performances of netball today. Ranging score lines. We've seen Botswana, the home nation, go down narrowly to Uganda. And that was an incredible performance by Uganda to keep their consistency with such a phenomenal crowd behind the home nation. So this is the final game, game five, day three, Northern Ireland versus Samoa. As we see the teams just in their final preparations and about to come onto court and be announced by our sports presentation team at the University of Botswana. And so if anybody's looking on, you can see the hashtags around the court. Hashtag Grabatsa, if anybody wants to follow. And the Northern Ireland lineup for today. Smith at goal shooter, Cartmill at goal attack, McCammon at wing attack. McGee at centre, Crosby wing defence, McCulloch goal defence and Lewis goalkeeper. Jenny Lewis is the captain, Jackie Portis, she's the head coach for Northern Ireland. And Samoa, goal shooter, Stewart, goal attack, Solander, wing attack, Southon, centre, Soleil's, wing defence, Ropati, goal defence, Minu, and goalkeeper Solia. The captain, Leilani Solis, and the coach, Lee Edwards. Our officials, our umpires are ready. Our umpires for today, Anne Hay and Alison Davis, will be running the lines, and our reserve umpire is Gareth Fowler. So, big game for Northern Ireland and for Samoa. It will be interesting to see how both teams cope with the start of this game. So Northern Ireland about to take the court. And a big shout out for the Northern Ireland side. And, now, and, the and to Samoa. welcome Samoa. So we've seen Northern Ireland play Alison so far in this tournament. So what should we look out for? Who should we look out for? Well, the defence has been really strong for Northern Ireland. They've just come off the back of a good win against Sri Lanka, 56-34 as well. So they should be really pumped up, ready to go. So Northern Ireland kick start, but there we see good, strong intercept from Solia. The goalkeeper for Samoa, she's fast on the transition, supporting the attack. Again, good pressure in the midcourt from Northern Ireland. And good shooter to shoot a ball there. Clever play from Solander. 
the goal attack from Samoa. So chance to go two goals up, having scored off the Northern Ireland centre pass. Great ball. It looks like it's a contact call, so shot for Stewart. So important Northern Ireland. Get a goal in and try and score off this, the second centre pass. Good defensive work from the goal defence from Samoa. Mainu. Oh, great ball. Good movement on the goal line from Smith. And it's a fine outfit, Alison, that Samoa have got on. They certainly stand out players in these dresses. I think them or the Cook Island are my favourite dresses actually of the tournament that we've seen so far. We've been picking out the impressive styles of the kits of the various teams. We've seen the tartan mixed into the dresses of Scotland. We're seeing the bright colours of Samoa's kit. And here we go. Samoa again pulling away with the ball. Samoa have definitely come out a little bit more relaxed, less nervous. They're making some good play down through court using all their players, whereas Ireland are being patient but seem to be a little bit nervous at the start of this first quarter. So Samoa, three minutes in, and it's a 4-1 lead for them. And Northern Ireland... Losing one of their strongest shooters with injury at the moment. That's McGee, the goal attack. So we wish her well and hope that we see her back on court soon. Good pressure, Northern Ireland. Much better play. Close down the mid space there. Samoa struggling to get the ball through. So just finding themselves caught behind the Samoan line. So Northern Ireland just need to work hard on those prelim moves, just beginning their movement early. But those long diagonals will get picked off by the Samoan defence. Good supportive work from the wing attack. Southon supporting Solanda. And good shot there from Solanda. And shooters pretty accurate, Alison, at the moment. Yeah, the Samoan shooters are really doing well at the moment, pushing the scoreline ahead. The Irish shooters aren't getting as much of the ball, so haven't been able to show us too much yet, but hopefully when they settle down, we'll see a little bit more from that end as well. So far more opportunities needed for Northern Ireland, but credit to the defensive line. They're picking off the intercepts. They've started to disrupt the play of Samoa. Great interception there by the Samoan goalkeeper, Solia.
And again, great work by the Samoan team and a great shot by Stewart. Oh, that was read well. Not sure that that was ever a ball that was on for the goal shooter. She turned away from play. So miscommunication there gives Northern Ireland possession. And Samoa with a 6-1 scoreline. So Northern Ireland desperate to get this goal, but centre moved through to the top. Offside was the call from the umpire. Accuracy, very strong. Samoan defence are working hard there, um, making it difficult for Northern Ireland to pass the ball through. So just not enough on that, on the shot from Smith. So shaky start from Northern Ireland, probably not what we expected, but suffering probably having lost some of the expertise from McGee who played such a great game for Northern Ireland in the previous round. Oh, great vision. Ooh. Too much on that, though, on the shooter connection from Solander to Stewart. So, chance for Northern Ireland. Can they get this ball through this pressure in the midcourt? It then relies on the accuracy of those shooters. So Smith comes out on the run. And we see the Samoan defence. They just pitch themselves inside the defensive circle. I guess their view is, while ever there's a shooter out, they can't be taking a shot. So Smith out on the run, but important that that shooting position is still a target for any of the mid-quarters. So, Samoa on the attack again. Good disruption there by Crosby on the wing defence. But a contact call. This has been a very dominant display of shooting from the Samoan goal shooter, Stewart, who has sunk all eight goals for Samoa so far. So it's a lead to Samoa by eight goals. And there we see a good, strong cut towards the ball and drive. And then superb feed from the wing attack. Southon through to Solander. And then we see the goal shooter there. She's positioned really high. If you look at the shooter, the space behind when there's a one on one in there, be very little that the goalkeeper from Northern Ireland can do to counteract that. That's going to be a hard job for Lewis. Great accuracy already demonstrated by Stewart. And Jackie Portis, the coach from Northern Ireland, she'll be disappointed with this start.
there's still a long way to go. So I think if nerves have just started for them today, I'm sure that they've got plenty of time to pick it back up. There's some, some good play through court. They just need to be able to get it through to the Northern Ireland shooters of Cartmill and Smith to be able to get some goals on the, on the board. So this is where the damage is being done. There's little rebound opportunity for the defensive pair of McCulloch and Lewis. Safely put away again. So did we expect this from Samoa? Well, we know they're ball handling skills are second to none we know they take their preparation seriously for the world championships and now the world youth cup but she's an impressive shooter standout already in quarter one and that's stewart for samoa so there we see smith calls a timeout for northern ireland and we see the replacement take to the court Oh, great vision. Just couldn't seal that one, but that was an excellent ball through by Menu. And just managed to get possession Northern Ireland, but then it falls out of play. So chance again for Samoa. So better defensive work. Loose double being put on Stewart. And Northern Ireland gaining possession. That was a better structure from the defensive pair in the circle. So, ball needs to move a little bit faster through the midcourt for Northern Ireland. Just got to be confident to let that ball go. And then just stolen again. Superb defending from Samoa. Good change of direction by Stewart, showing good court craft, as well as the accuracy on the shot. Still only the one goal on the scoreboard for Northern Ireland at the moment. What do you think they can do differently to counteract that, Anita? So it is about just letting the ball go for Northern Ireland, creating more shooting opportunities. But you see the setup. If you look in the midcourt, you'll see the five players really tight, covering the space. That was better. Northern Ireland offered more, more options in the midcourt. So chance for more, the replacement goal shooter. And disappointment all round the crowd, the Northern Ireland supporters on the bench just not able to seal that one. Oh, like it, that's what we aim to do as a goal attack, that transition through to the post, that quality movement. So Samoa, great performance so far. Not the scoreline we expected. Samoa 15, Northern Ireland with that single goal as we move into the final minutes of this, the first quarter, the final game on day three. So it's a massive scoreline, Alison. I wonder if we'll see some changes from Northern Ireland. I think they're going to need to make some changes. They're just struggling to get it through the court, centre court, um, and taking it down to goal. And when they do get chances, they really need to capitalise on them because there's been a few misses as well. But a great start from Samoa in this first quarter. So that's the end of the first quarter and a fine display. It's Samoa 16, Northern Ireland 2. And we didn't expect that result. 
but clinical performance by Stuart Salander South on the attacking unit for Samoa. And we see our supporters enjoying this, the final game. And we'll be back. I'm sure we might see some changes. There'll definitely be some tactical discussions on the Northern Ireland bench. We'll leave you with the highlights and we'll be back in a few minutes' time. So welcome back for the second quarter. We see Samoa last onto court, but they've put out first class performance so far in this, the final game of day three. We need Northern Ireland to come out and start putting some goals on the scoreboard to uh, bring the game back in contention. So, second goal for Northern Ireland. Samoa 16, Northern Ireland 2. They've got the work cut out, but they're a determined bunch, determined squad, and I'm sure the coaches will have addressed some of those early errors creeping into the Northern Ireland game. And that's a better shot. Again, great, great linkage at the start in the second quarter from the two Samoan players, Salander and Southern. Yeah. 
So some good pressure over the ball there by the goalkeeper, Lewis for Northern Ireland, but still it's Stewart that stays strong and just love that move that she does. She commits the defender out the circle and we see that Lewis actually goes with her and that just opens up for that change of direction and move towards the post. And if we look and compare that to the Samoan defence, when that happens with the Northern Ireland shooter, the two Samoans just pitch themselves in the circle and wait to pick up the shooter on the return. So they don't expose that back space and allow that ball to go through to post. Oh. Again, a good start by the Samoan group pairing in the shooting circle. 4-2 this quarter to them for a total of 20-4 for Northern Ireland. Just cool head of the goal shooter, Stewart. So Northern Ireland, big fight on the hands here. They've got to really string the passes together, try and get themselves full side. Those cuts, those good angle movements really needed. Oh, good response though. Pressure totally on more from Northern Ireland. Stewart's working really hard in the circle, creating lots of space and supported there by Solanda for another goal. So transition, fast, quick play from Samoa. Not afraid to reset on the transverse line. And a cut towards the ball from Stewart. Opening up the back space this time for Solanda. Again, great linkage between Solanda and Stewart to create some great space in the circle for the shot. Great to see some of the local crowd supporting different teams here today, Anita, isn't it? Yes, we've seen some great supporters in the crowd. And this, the final game on day three. And uh, not what we expected in scoreline. We've seen Northern Ireland play some quality netball, but just not able to cope with the expertise of Samoa. The quick hands, fast ball through the midcourt and the good linkage through to the shooters, Solander at goal attack and Stewart at goal shooter. So Northern Ireland in possession, some good pressure there from Lewis at goalkeeper. Uh, just the timing there for more, just out of the blocks a little bit earlier. Could have maybe received the ball a little bit closer to the circle. And again, just space running out. And that's credit to the goal defence, Menu and Salia from Samoa. And a 
again, that one-on-one -on -one works. And not a lot that can be done when the ball is so accurate over the body of Stewart, safely collected. So Northern Ireland trying to break through the intense defensive pair in the circle and a chance for more. And that's an obstruction call. And again, not able to convert. So, error by Samoa. And that's better, propped high there more. She'd got more court space behind her. And that was a great feed in from Northern Ireland. That was definitely much better play. A smooth pass and Moore, who, like you said, held, held her space really high in the circle to allow the ball to go over. So another obstruction, more just gaining a bit more confidence. And there we see one of the local schools from Haberoni. Each school for this inaugural World Youth Cup, they've been assigned a team that they will support through this campaign. And what an opportunity for those schools to be down at this event to support their allocated team. They've got the flags. And they know a little bit about the team, the country, and it's a great tribute to the organising team here at the Netball World Youth Cup to include so many young people from the community and to really lift the experiences of the young people here. So pressure still in the midcourt from Samoa. Good work, Moore. And not able to connect with the post, but that's Cartmill on the rebound. And yes, she lands that one. And there we see that's another school. They're pleased to be seen on the screen. And you can see the teams that have adopted Northern Ireland and Samoa from the local community and the teachers of those schools in the house, they've brought them down and they'll be part of the journey of their team, their allocated adopted team for this, the Netball World Youth Cup campaign. So not much that can be done by the Northern Ireland defence, Alison, Solander and Stewart just running away with this one. Yeah, indeed. They're working really hard. They're creating loads of space with their movement and they're making it really difficult for Lewis and McCulloch in the, in the defence. It's not a lot that they can do at the moment. They definitely need to change up something to try and combat because when the ball goes in, the accuracy is really good. And there we see the coaches, Lee Edwards, the head coach, I'm sure she'll be pleased with the scoreline. It's Samoa 30, Northern Ireland 8. So Cartmill. Gets the second chance. Moe defence are working really hard there with Solia Amanu, making it difficult for Cartmill and more, but they really need to find some space and get some of these shots in to bring the game back and closer. So footwork call from Moore, just not going in favour of Northern Ireland. We know 
They've put out some fine displays of netball so far, so not without the fight. They're trying to just string their game together. And good attempt, good pressure there from the goalkeeper, Lewis. So, chance to get another goal on the board. No, Cartmill just stopped when she re went to receive the ball. And there you see the Samoans, they attack the ball, so they move into the line of the pass, which just means they're getting there first. Northern Ireland just need to show that intensity as they move towards the ball. And we see it's not without the effort and the turnover at the back. So foot fault at the throw-in for Northern Ireland. This is going to be a really tough second half as we come into the closing minutes of the second quarter for Northern Ireland with Samoa leading 32 to 8 or 33 to 8 now. So more out the circle. Cartmill just trying to create the options. Swing of the ball just made it through to Moore. Moa definitely working super hard on that defence. Rapati there getting a good tip to the ball. Just couldn't pull that ball in more. It's all about that ball to space. And our Samoan supporters looking on, enjoying the scoreline so far. It's Samoa 33, Northern Ireland 8. Cartmill again just trying to work and create the options and so far any swing of the ball across the circle is just being picked off if it's not Mainu, it's Ropati on the wing defence so better shot from Moore Good lift on the ball, so that should give her a little bit more confidence. And a great turn. McCulloch there steals the ball. Can they secure another goal before the interval? Oh, and just a misunderstanding. Disappointment on the face of the head coach, Jackie Portis. So Samoa, good straight line play. Good use of the overlap in the midcourt. That's the wing defence coming for that square ball. Oh, nice work to the circle edge. You pretty much predict the outcome when Stewart gets the ball. She's got such a fluent shot. Great shooting action. Switch of lead then, more out the circle. And Cartmill just can't pull it in. So out of court, possession to Samoa. Oh, nice. Good ball. That's been a trademark move for this pairing. I'm sure we'll see more of those to the delight of the head coach, Lee Edwards. And there we see that concludes the first half and a healthy scoreline for Samoa. It's Samoa 35, Northern Ireland 9. And not the result we expected. Northern Ireland will be bitterly disappointed with their performance so far. But for Samoa, some clinical performances through the court, supported by the defensive work of Mainu and Salia. But commentary... We've been impressed with the shooting of Stewart and the distribution of Solander. And we'll be back for the second half in 10 minutes. We'll leave you with the game's highlights so far.
So welcome back to the final quarter of this game between Northern Ireland against Samoa. This is the third quarter and the second half. And we've witnessed a very strong performance from Samoa so far. Northern Ireland not without the fight. It's just about consistency and that safe offload of the ball through to the shooters. Again, not an ideal start for Northern Ireland with the ball going off the back from the centre, McGee. Let's hope they can regain possession. Good build up from Northern Ireland. Great support from McCammon and McGee. And just unable to break through there. Looks like a contact. Oh no, it's a contact against Samoa. So, chance now. Can Northern Ireland sink the goal? And we'll bring the changes for this, the third quarter, as soon as we receive them in commentary. Good movement, circle edge there by Soleil's. a contact against the goalkeeper Lewis so chance again Stewart some great shooting from Samoa and you see a new shooter pairing in there for Samoa so Samoa again quick on the transition and fake of the ball there and safely into the hands of the goal attack so Samoa 38 goals to Northern Ireland's nine and there's a happy bench, the Samoan coaches. They'll be enjoying this performance from the Samoan seven on court. And just couldn't keep that one in. That's the wing defence from Samoa. And that's Rapati. So changes for Northern Ireland for this quarter. Goal shooter. Coleman, wing attack Keenan, wing defence McGee and centre McCammon. And just one change for Samoa. Muliaga replaces Stewart at goal shooter. Very confident start from Samoa again. The new shooter pairing, just as accurate as the pairing we had previously. So, little misunderstanding there. Northern Ireland think possession was with them on court, but it's a throw in. And then quick turn to goal there from Northern Ireland. So 
Can Coleman sink this one for Northern Ireland? Just needs to lift this shot. That's better. Sinks the, the goal. Hey, the crowd. Everyone wants to be on the camera tonight. So remember, throughout this World Youth Cup, you can view all of the games at this, the main competition venue at the University of Botswana. You can witness all of the games live. And this is day three of the pool games. And it's Northern Ireland against Samoa. A nice turnover there for Northern Ireland with a score from Malia from Coleman. So you can get involved if you're on Twitter using the hashtag NWYC2017. So join us, send us your messages using the hashtag NWYC2017. Crowds just still enjoying the netball on offer to them at this, the main arena. And if this is just the start of this World Youth Cup, the pool rounds, we know it will just get more exciting as we start to unfold those teams playing in the top eight. And we see again the cheers from the crowd. It's a great venue. It's a fantastic new arena at the University of Botswana. It's lifted the community. I'm sure there'll be more major events here, but to think this is the inaugural netball event on the continent of Africa, and for this to be hosted in Botswana. Oh dear, and that's a footwork call on Coleman. Another one from the wing defence from Rupati. And Alison, just a lot of unforced errors creeping in. Not something the coaches would be wanting to see. No, exactly. A few more goals are coming in for Northern Ireland now, but they're just not getting it through to the shooters of Coleman and Cartmill as much as I think they would like. Some great play there, supported by McCannon, the centre. And a great shot there from Coleman. That's three in a row now for Northern Ireland. So much better for Northern Ireland. They've lifted the game. And that was good pressure from the defensive line from Northern Ireland. There they are, those supporters. We might call them showboaters back home. They like the screen, they like to be seen, but we like the smiles of those local people in Botswana, really shining bright in the crowd. So change for Northern Ireland. And we see Smith enter the court at goal attack. And our cameramen are doing a fine job. It's Botswana TV and QTV. Cameras everywhere in this arena. If you think you're taking a nap and not being seen on screen, you are mistaken. 
Northern Ireland have definitely upped their game now, Nita. That's five in a row. So the last five goals has been scored by them. So some statistics. This is a great run of form from Northern Ireland. First time they've landed five goals in succession. So credit to them. They're on a fight back. And they're trying to close the deficit against a clinical Samoa. Definitely seems like a mo lot more energy on court now from the Northern Ireland team. And maybe that those last few goals in a run has given them a bit of confidence um, as we see there from taking the intercept from Smith and Coleman scoring the goal. And interesting, we've seen a lot of Smith at goal shooter, but already having an impact out there on the goal attack. So remember the hashtags. You can join us, share your stories, share your news with us using Twitter. And it's hashtag NWYC2017. Get involved. And these people in the crowds are totally involved. Our other hashtag for this competition in true spirit of Botswana is hashtag Rabatsa. If only I could say it like the natives of Botswana, but we're right behind the local community making history here in Botswana, and we've witn witnessed some fantastic games here on day three so far. And it's great to see that Northern Ireland are stepping up the game in this, the third quarter, in an attempt to close the deficit against Samoa. <laughs> Another crowd. Everybody excited to be on the screen. The crowd's been fantastic all day, hasn't it, Anita? We've been, it's been a long day of games and a number of the crowd has stayed for this final game. And I definitely seem to be enjoying themselves. Yes, fine crowd. We like the dancing, we like the singing. They're right behind the teams, most of all. They show great spirit and they appreciate quality netball. And if you've not seen already, you can see Gilbert. They're the proud suppliers to the Netball World Youth Cup 2017. And you can see the signature ball for this inaugural Youth Cup. And it's a great design with every game played with the Gilbert netball. Good shot, Smith. Crowd enjoying that one and enjoying this sudden surge from Northern Ireland. Closing the gap, it's Samoa 45, Northern Ireland 19. This is much more like the Northern Ireland that we've been seeing across this tournament opening up the game well. Smith's come on really well at goal attack, um, really moving the ball around a lot quicker, and there seems to be a lot more space, and it's, they're finding their shooters a lot easier. Oh, good, strong ball through to the post again. Solanda, she's a standout player for Samoa. So, Smith cutting through the gap between the two defence of Samoa in the midcourt. Good pick up there from the goal shooter, Coleman. Another goal. There she is, Coleman. Lifting the side. And so Northern Ireland reached the 20 milestone. It's actually 11 all this quarter as well, so a really good fight from both teams. Um, Northern Ireland did have a run of it, but they had gone down a little bit more at the start of this quarter, so it is an even 11 all currently.
Oh, great cover. And sold the dummy, so she thought. The wing attack from Samoa Southon. But good credit to McCulloch and Lewis. They read that, they expected the ball over, and they were able to get the deflection. So change for Samoa. It's a goal defence. And we see Morelli take to the court. So that marks the end of the third quarter. Much better performance from Northern Ireland. Closing the scoreline. It was even Stephen. It was 11 all in that quarter. So Northern Ireland 21. Samoa still in the lead with a good, strong 47 goals. And as the crowd enjoy this last game of day three, we'll take a break and be back with you in a few minutes. We're leaving you with the highlights of the quarter. And join us again soon for the final 15 minutes.
So the game is underway again. This is the final quarter. So can Northern Ireland maintain that intensity, consistency of quarter three and close the gap? It is a shame that Northern Ireland didn't seem to settle particularly well in the first half. But it's nice. it was nice to see them in the third quarter come back to draw that quarter 12 all. So, yes, let's hope that they can continue that momentum and push on a bit more in the final quarter. Good fake of the ball again from the Samoans. So good with their court craft, their ball handling skills. And there we see good solid shooting again. And it's the right idea. It's just a low release on that ball through to Coleman. And the pace just needs to come off that ball a little bit. So changes in this quarter for Northern Ireland. We see Jess move to centre and McCammon move into and back on at wing attack. So better third quarter, Alison for Northern Ireland. If they can maintain it, they should be able to reduce this scoreline. Yeah, but Samoa have started this final quarter again really well. They've had a very consistent game throughout, and they're really starting to push ahead again in the final quarter. So Northern Ireland, if they want to make more of a game of this, definitely could do with getting a few goals in at the start of this final quarter. Well, that was better positioning. Good stronghold by Coleman for Northern Ireland. Who have been the standout players so far for you in this Samoan side? Well, we've had a few different combinations of shooting partners, and I think all of them have had some really good accuracy when the ball comes in, um, which they've had opportunities to shoot. They've had some really good goal scores. Um, but their defence are working hard as well and really making it difficult for Ireland. Um, so Solia and Manu are really work making it difficult for Northern Ireland. It's not that they're not playing as well. They've not had as many opportunities, but the defence are really pushing them hard. And that goes all the way down the court as well, not just in the shooting circle. So, opportunity. Smith steps in, offloads to Coleman. And goal scored. And can't help but like this combination of shooters. They've Produced some quality netball through quarter three. And just seeing Smith out on the goal attack, she's added different dimension. She's got the creativity just to open up the space. Great movement there by the goal attack from Samoa Sananda. So if you just look at the movement of the goal attack, she pulls a lot of width of the court, which simply means she just draws the defenders out, uses what we might call a wider rotation as she links with the shooter. Uh, not afraid to mix up a game either. So it's great to see it is the change of direction that really sells the dummy for the two shooters from Samoa and if any young player out there watching wants to develop their game change of direction will support you in your play whatever the position when you're on attack
The crowd are definitely enjoying themselves as this game goes into the final quarter. Great shot there from Maliaga from Smalia. Pushing the score to 56 to Smalia, 24 to Northern Ireland. Again, another goal for Samoa, for Maliaga. And they're again starting to pull away a bit further from Northern Ireland who have lost some of the momentum that they started in the third quarter. So Northern Ireland, well, that was a great drive to the post from Smith and just what we've been talking about. She just pulls the space and opens up that opportunity to deliver that ball. So Samoa back on the attack again. Again, Smiler is starting really strongly. Currently, the quarter score is 10 to 4 to Samoa. So the Samoans again in possession, challenged well mm. by Northern Ireland, looking long, but just overcooked that one. So the scoreline, Samoa 58, Northern Ireland 25. As we approach the final seven and a half minutes of this, the final quarter. So some quality performances on court from Samoa. Good structure in their attacking unit. And some clinical delivery from the likes of Soleil and Tola Southon, who've played in the midcourt. Change in the centre for Samoa there. Northern Ireland are continuing to fight for it, but just a missed shot there. Gives possession back to Samoa. So, Toia Tafuga, the wing attack. She's been standout figure in her distribution throughout this game. Great shot there by Conwyn from Northern Ireland. Good rebound and shot by Salander from Samoa.
So a good patient build-up from Northern Ireland. Smith electing to put the ball back on the transverse line. And again, fully aware of the contest in the circle, so swinging the ball. And the centre, Jess from Northern Ireland. Safe distribution from her. And just couldn't keep the ball in, so Samoa possession. Good fight for the ball there from the wing defence. McGee, but unfortunately it was footwork, so possession goes back to Samoa. And another goal scored by Salanda. Oh, it's a better movement, good movement towards the post by Coleman. And Smith again, she cites that option. We've enjoyed seeing Smith out on the goal attack. Created some opportunities in quarter three, continue to do so as we play out the final 15 minutes. And that's a solid shot, good performance from Samoa all round. We've talked about the standout players. It has to be the shooter pairings from Samoa. Northern Ireland are continuing to fight till the end, which is good to see them put some work in in the last few minutes. And the final changes to give you came just a little bit earlier in quarter four. Evans to wing defence for Samoa. And Romania Pose to centre. And for anybody listening in, there is a player of this World Youth Cup. So teams put in their nomination for the player of the match for the opposition in each game. And all of that information is tallied. And points scored. And there will be a player of the World Youth Cup announced at the presentation on the final day after the final. A great shot again. So, last few minutes of this game, Samoa gained and regained the composure in quarter three and four, just to start adding more goals to their tally as we play out these final minutes. And this live stream event is brought to you by Botswana TV in partnership with QTV Sports. And you can view all of the up and coming live games at this, the main competition venue of the Netball World Youth Cup in Habaruni in Botswana. Nice play down court there by the Northern Ireland team. Well held on by McCannon at wing attack. Oh, good 
good check there on the shot, but Smith regains possession. And that one drops in for Northern Ireland. As we move into the final minutes. Crowder willing the teams on to the final whistle. There's some singing and some dancing has broken out. Oh, now we see Jess just made the movement from one side of the court. She just went into the circle, so that gives possession to Samoa. And that concludes the final game of day three. There's the umpire, Alison Davies, accompanied by Anne Hay on the line. And it's been a good clinical performance from Samoa. Northern Ireland, patches of great netball, just couldn't get the consistency today. And we see the final scoreline, Samoa 65, Northern Ireland 28. And this concludes a fantastic day of netball here at the University of Botswana. And we'll be back tomorrow for all the games live at this venue. It'll be day four, and we are no doubt going to witness more netball. The home side take to the court again, and we hope that we see some fantastic high-scoring games. But there's Samoa. That's the successful team of this final game. And we'll say goodbye from commentary. There's the full-time score. Samoa, 65, Northern Ireland, 28.